In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Zoom on your laptop. I'll also show you once you've downloaded it, how you can sign up for an account and then how you can configure your audio settings, make sure your microphone is working and just make sure everything is set up. So once you're on your computer, you need to open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome and by doing so, it will then take me to Google. But if you use a different web browser, then be sure to use that one that you're familiar with. Maybe that is for you, Microsoft Edge. Either way, go to the web browser that you usually use. Now from here, we need to go to Zoom's official website and we need to download Zoom. To do this, we can go to the search bar and just type in Zoom download and then it's gonna open up a search query. And we need to look for this website here, the official Zoom website, which will probably be zoom.us forward slash download. Make sure it's the one at the top or near the top. Don't click on any Google Play links. You need to make sure it's from the Zoom website. So click on this and you know you're on the right website because it should say zoom.us forward slash download. And here we are on the download center. And what we can do is we can download Zoom Workplace for Windows. So go ahead and click download on the 64-bit version. For most of you, that is what you need to download. It will probably open up a download window where you can then click save. And what's happening here is you're essentially downloading the installation wizard. And on Chrome, I can go to my downloads in the top right hand corner and then I can see it downloaded. You may need to go to your downloads folder on your computer. So you will probably get there by going to your file explorer, then go to downloads and then you should be able to see it. Either way, you need to open and run this Zoom application. So double click on it and it will open this window and just give it a couple of seconds to a minute and it will install Zoom just like that on the spot. Now, once you first installed Zoom, you probably won't be signed in and you won't have an account. Now you can go and join a meeting as a guest, but for most of you, I would create an account and once you've done it once and you've created your account, you can use Zoom over and over again with that account. So go ahead and click on sign up. Of course, if you already have an account, you can click sign in and enter in your username and password. I'm going to click sign up though, and we're going to go through this process. So enter in your birth year, mine is 1998. And what we're doing here is creating a free basic account. You only need your birth year and an email address. So you can sign up with Apple, Google or Facebook, but I'm going to enter in my email address manually. So go ahead and type that in. And this should be your best email address that you have access to. Then click continue and it will then ask you to verify that email. So what Zoom are going to do are send you an email to the email that you put. So just make sure it's written correct. Then you can access your emails. If you want to open the apps, you can click on any of these two buttons. Or if you've got the email on your phone, maybe it will come up on your phone. But you just need to find the code from your email. So here is my code 192904. So we're going to type that in here, 192904. We can then click verify and verify our account. Now let's enter in our name, Bradley Knowledge. And we're going to then enter in a password. Now just make sure that you do remember this password and make sure that it matches the criteria on screen. Then click continue. And then you should then load into the Zoom workplace. Just don't freak out if it disappears and then comes back. So now we're in Zoom. So now go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner. Then you need to go to settings. Now by doing so, it will open up the settings of Zoom. Click on audio. And here you've got your speaker and your microphone. So if you've got any headphones in, if you want to use headphones, you can click on this drop down menu and choose what you want to use. I'm going to click here on my headphones, which happen to be my AirPods, but you can just have the sound coming out of your computer if you want. And if you click test speaker, you will hear a test sound. I'm not going to do that now. Then here you've got your microphone. If you click on that, you can change to the microphone that you're using. If you're using a built-in one, it should probably be the only one. And just make sure that when you speak, the input level goes up. So if you've done all of that and everything seems to be working, you can exit out of that. And now you can essentially speak and listen to people on Zoom. So I hope that helped you out. Let me know if it did in the comments.